down there. I hate this. There oh, there you go. Oh, this is no fun. Yeah. <laughs> What the world's all about. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Nice one. <laughs> He's not going down the hole. You yeah, got to catch there him. There you go. <laughs> You're yeah, the good one, huh? Yeah. Nice yeah. fish. Hi, doing, folks. Hey, it's Joe Henry, Lake of the Woods Tourism. I'm with Greg Jones of Midwest Outdoor and Jace Loma of, uh, of Lake of the Woods Tourism. And we are whacking walleyes and saugers on the walleye capital of the world today. And I'll tell you what, day's starting out hot. Oh, yeah. I'm back on my hole over there. <laughs> nice one. Coming under the house, huh? Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Way Pulling at you, huh? Yeah. Oh, get him. We got him, Greg. Yeah. Look at that! Ice wall eye. I see that mark was a little bigger down there. That was a fun one. Yeah, good one? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to set the hook on two rods. <laughs> it's fun and tell you what, anybody yeah. can do this, Joe. <laughs> nice. Anybody can do this. You know, yeah. folks. One of the great things uh, about Fisher Lake of the Woods uh, in the winter is how easy it is. And you know, today we had an awesome breakfast at the resort. We, uh, we walk a few steps out to heated ice transportation. Uh, they take us out to a heated fish house. The holes are drilled. Everything's all set up at 70 degrees. And now we're whacking fish, having a great time. You know, at about 4.30 when it's getting dark out, they'll pick us and our bucket of fish up. They'll bring us back into the resort. You know what, just in time for a happy hour and they're even gonna clean our fish for us. Now you talk about an awesome day. Yeah, I got one, we got. Sauger. Spots on the dorsals, no white tip on the tail. A little bit browner than a walleye. Oh, look at that one. Get him up. Oh, nice sauger. Look at that. Good one. You know, folks, one of the cool things about Fish Shop at Lake of the Woods, too, is the, the variety of lodging. Whether you want to stay in a sleeper fish house and spend the night on the ice, or maybe you want to stay in a hotel, or maybe you want to stay at a real fancy cabin at one of our resorts, you know, everything's available at the Lake of the Woods. We have actually 60 different lodging options when you come up here. Here we go. There you go. Uh-oh, what do you got there? This one's going south, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, baby out here. I got your line. Here it yep. is. Ready, Greg? Here you go. Yep. Got him. Got him. Well, they're slippery. <laughs> no. Got him. There, there he is. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. They call this a bow with a pout. They call it an eel pout or a bourbon or a lawyer. And I'll tell you what you do. You take those back straps off and you take that tail meat off. And what you do is you boil it in either 7-Up or salt water, or some people broil it and some people even fry it. But I'll tell you what, Greg, people, uh, they get a kick out of catching these pout. These are nice oh, yeah, fish. Yeah. Shall we get him? Oh, I got him. Oh, yeah, nice walleye. Come on, baby. Go. Oh, nice one for the bucket. Folks, right now we're fishing now. We're fishing Big Traverse Bay, which is a great big open basin of Lake of the Woods. 30 miles long by 25 miles wide. And there's a number of resorts that cater to this part of the lake. But we also have another part of the lake that has a lot of great fishing. That's called the Northwest Angle. That's the northernmost point of the continental United States. And that's where the 14,552 islands begin. And I'll tell you, there's a little bit different fishing up there. Over here, we're fishing mud with some scattered reefs. Up there, there's a lot of rock, a lot of reefs. They also have their mud as well. So, hey, anywhere you want to go, you're going to be getting fish like this up at Lake of the Woods. Ah, nice. That's a good one, Grace. Oh, yeah. Better one? There might. Got him? Yeah. There <laughs> Thanks, Greg. What's going on? Tell you what, folks, you know, we're, uh, we're doing it from a, a real comfortable day house today that's full service ice fishing where they brought us out to the house. But I'll tell you what, there's a lot of ways to do it in Lake of the Woods. You know, a lot of resorts and, and outfitters will plow a plowed road out. You can bring wheelhouses, you can drive out on that and fish with a collapsible, whatever the case might be. There's also a, a snowmobile trail that goes all over the lake, including up to the northwest angle from the south end. And that's groomed in its stake. So, hey, however you want to fish walleyes in Lake of the Woods, whether it's full service or do it yourself, you can do it here. Got a good one going? Yeah, that's it. Good one, buddy. Go. Nice walleye. Yeah. Tell you what, folks, you know, uh, and you know, one of the great things about Lake of the Woods is that you can actually ice fish December through March. Because we're border water with Canada, we can actually keep our permanent fish houses out all the way through March, and our walleye and sauger season doesn't close until April 14th. So if you want to get an extended season in through the ice, Lake of the Woods is your spot. There you go. Good one, Jace. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Come on. 
There, there I got him. Is that him? Yep. Good one. Oh, there's nice fish here. Yeah, look at that one. Splashing. <laughs> Tell you what, folks, we've been catching walleyes and saugers like this all day long. You know, if you want to come up here and catch a whole bunch of walleyes and saugers, I used fish on Lake of the Woods, check out our website. It's lakeofthewoodsmn.com. You know, for Jay Sloma, Greg Jones, I'm Joe Henry. More Midwest Outdoors coming up next.